This animation describes the interactions between active tuberculosis, or TB disease, latent tuberculosis, or sleeping TB, the human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, and your immune system, or defense system. This character represents TB disease. This character represents sleeping TB. This character represents HIV. And this character represents a white blood cell in your defense system. They are very small and can only be seen with a microscope. In this animation, we show them much larger than they really are, so you can easily see them. TB stands for Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is the bacteria that causes TB. When a person who is sick with TB and is not on treatment coughs or sneezes, TB bacteria are spread into the air. These bacteria are inhaled in by other people and the TB goes into their lungs. TB mainly infects the lungs, but can also infect other organs of the body. Children usually get TB from an adult or older child who's already sick with TB but not on treatment, who they spend a lot of time with. When someone has TB disease, it's important to check all the members of the family to see if anyone else in the house has TB disease or is at risk of getting TB disease. Every person with TB disease symptoms has to go to the clinic to be tested to make sure they don't have TB. Children less than five years old and people living with HIV in the family will be offered treatment for sleeping TB. Normally, when you hear about TB, people are referring to active TB, the disease. Remember this red character? It represents the TB disease bacteria. Active TB, or TB disease, is when a person has both the TB bacteria and the symptoms and can infect other people, especially when he coughs or sneezes. Symptoms of active TB disease include a chronic bad cough, pain in the chest or coughing up blood, weight loss, and fevers. When the nurse, doctor, counselor, or active case finder says they need to screen the family for TB, it means they want to find out if anyone in the household has any of these symptoms. What symptoms of TB in children will they ask about? Coughing for more than two weeks. Fever, high temperature for more than two weeks. Not growing well or losing weight. Sleepy and more tired than usual. Not as playful as usual. Most of the people who breathe in TB bacteria get TB infection, meaning that the TB bacteria is in their body, but if the person is healthy, it can stay sleeping in their lungs. Remember, this pink character represents latent TB or sleeping TB bacteria. So when a person has the TB bacteria, they do not have its symptoms. They will appear perfectly healthy. They do not spread TB to others. Sleeping TB can remain in the body for years, even decades, without waking up and making the person sick with active TB. Unlike active TB disease, sleeping TB infection is not infectious to others. The defense system successfully fights the bacterium and holds them in check, preventing the spread of the bacterium. Remember this white character? It represents your defense system. Your defense system defends you from diseases. However, sleeping TB infection still poses a risk to your health. Without treatment, approximately 1 out of 20 to 1 out of 10 people with sleeping TB infection will develop active TB disease when the bacteria wake up at some time in their lives, but the risk is highest soon after infection. This is 5 to 10 percent. If you live in a place where many people have TB, you may be infected with TB before you realize it, especially if you are living with HIV. The TB skin vaccine can protect children from getting severe forms of TB, but is not sufficient to protect anyone from getting sleeping TB or progressing from sleeping TB to active TB disease. Children under five years of age are at increased risk for developing active TB disease after TB infection due to being young and also having a young defense system. As many as one in two, 
50% of infants with TB infection will develop TB disease, and if disease develops, it is almost always less than one year after infection. Here we see that the defense system cannot defeat TB. This can also happen when an immune system is weakened due to health changes from diabetes, drug use, and other conditions. The person will start to get sick with symptoms of TB disease. A person with active TB disease who is not on treatment yet can spread TB disease to others. For people living with HIV, especially those not taking HIV medications, the risk of developing active TB disease is considerably higher than for persons with other conditions. Remember this character? It represents HIV. HIV is very small. It can only be seen with a special type of microscope. In this animation, we show it much larger than it actually is, only so you can easily see the virus. Appropriately treating HIV will help rebuild your defense system. This defense system is your main defense against TB. When starting HIV medicine, you should make sure to report every new symptom to your doctor, cough, fevers, and weight loss, and make sure not to stop your treatment without your doctor knowing. Household exposure to TB disease qualifies children who are younger than five years old or of any age but are HIV positive to receive TB preventative therapy. To be able to better prevent active TB disease in children, they need to take TB preventative therapy, also called TPT. It is the medicine that can be given to young children to protect them from getting sick with TB disease. TPT needs to be given every day for three months in HIV negative children under five with TB disease household exposure, or every day for six months in people living with HIV. When a child starts taking TPT medicine, it is the beginning of the TPT journey. TPT is given once a day, Monday to Sunday, for three or six months. The TPT medicine should be given by a responsible caregiver. A child who is on TPT will need to see a healthcare worker at scheduled times during treatment or at their regularly scheduled HIV care appointments to collect medicine, for a weight check, and to check whether the child has developed any TB symptoms. Let the doctor, nurse, treatment supporter, or counselor know if your child has any problems, including side effects, with the medicine. Side effects might include nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, belly pain, yellow eyes, or pain in the fingers or toes, but these side effects are rare. We are all here to help support you and your child while on treatment. Make sure your child completes the three to six months of treatment so that all the sleeping TB is killed. Together, you and your healthcare provider can beat sleeping TB infection and prevent active TB disease. Every journey can have bumps along the way, but there are many members of the TB team who can help. You are not alone.